Well, greetings and good afternoon and welcome to our 27th annual NAB Press Luncheon. We're here not for speeches, but instead to give you the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one conversation with JBC Kenwood executives and our special guests. So let me begin with a few introductions. We're very uh, honored this year to have our chairman and CEO of JBC Kenwood Worldwide, Mr. Takio Suji, at table one. Also at table one is our planning executive and chief technology officer with JBC Kenwood, Mr. Yasuyuki Tanida. At table two, uh, we have our managing executive and COO of the Americas, uh, Mr. Neil Kurahara. Yeah. And also at table two, our executive officer and head of the MS sector and media division, Mr. Yasuyoshi Hayashi. Yeah. Really thank you gentlemen for coming all the way over to uh, honor us with your presence here at this event. We're very appreciative of that. Also want to introduce some JVC people here. Um, many of you know them already, but I, I'll just uh, mention them. Uh, our Vice President of the Professional Video Division, Mr. Joe D'Amico at Table One. <laughs> Joe. And I like to call him the father of Connected Cam. At Table Number Two is our General Manager of Engineering, Mr. Edgar Shane. And at table number four, we have our national product marketing manager. Everyone knows Craig Yanagi. <laughs> and we have, I'm not sure which table it's, it's our vice president of our visual systems division at table six or table five? Six. Six, Mr. Ian Scott. <laughs> and we also have our vice president of JVC Canada, Mr. Greg Cameron. Right. Uh, I'd also like to mention, I'm not going to call everyone out by name and embarrass them uh, trying to read business cards, but we have guests here from Raycom Media, if you want to raise your hands. We appreciate your coming. And we have guests from Quincy Media, and Quincy Broadcasting, thank you very much for coming. And also Waterman Broadcasting has a representative here. Thank you very much for coming. Wow, I think I got everybody covered. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Um, well, on Sunday, when I was coming back to the hotel from the convention center, wearing my JVC pullover shirt, a guy in the elevator looked at my shirt and said, JVC, you guys are back. I didn't quite know what to say. I mean, we've been having these press luncheons for over a quarter of a century. We've had the same large booth in the Central Hall for at least 20 years. We're on the back cover of every show daily every year. Plenty of pre-show advertising at every NAB. So what's changed? We're connecting. There's a segment of the broadcast market that will not accept small imager cameras, and that's where we've been for the past two decades, and for good reason. One-third inch sensors make up the largest section of the U.S. market. Our 600 and 800 series cameras continue to do quite well in the mid to smaller DMAs and throughout the industrial and independent video communities. But turn on your TV in one of the larger markets or watch a network show, and the chances are that what you're watching was shot with a two-thirds inch camera. Now, we have a lot of experience making two-thirds inch cameras, but we haven't made one in a while. But that has now changed. We're back. Introducing the GYHC 900 Connected Cam. We've combined our camera building expertise with our knowledge of IP connectivity, and the result is what could only be described as a masterpiece. <coughs> The GYHC 900 is a true broadcast camcorder that features three two-thirds inch CMOS image sensors as well as enhanced connectivity for a complete news over IP workflow. It produces image quality that equals or surpasses images made with any of the broadcast cameras at any price. But its connectivity lets it do things that no other broadcast camera can do. For example, 
with its built-in Wi-Fi or with the optional bonded cellular dockable package, the new HC900 allows on-air talent to conduct a two-way interview with return video and IFB while streaming live to air without any external boxes or backpacks. It's JVC's first camera featuring a new communications engine that optimizes both image processing and IP performance. The engine enables simultaneous recording, low latency streaming, and simultaneous decoding for return video and IFB. Latency can be as low as 500 milliseconds for outgoing and incoming video. And shooters will love this camera. It feels right with the ergonomics and build quality you'd expect from a broadcast camera. It delivers exceptional picture quality in virtually any environment. Punch in the HDR mode and you'll get some incredibly artistic shots. Go live with a quick press of a button and you're on the air live and your stream status is right there in the viewfinder. You concentrate on the shot and the camera will do the rest. That's connected cam. Our connected cam is not the only new camcorder in the booth this year. We're upgrading our 4K cam series with three new models the GYHM250, the GYHM250 SP, and the GYHM180. What sets the 250 and the 250 SP apart and their predecessors from others on the market is their IP connectivity and built-in streaming engines. Plug in an LTE modem and go live. Now, I have some experience with this. I took an HM200 out to Lake Tahoe a couple of years ago for my daughter's wedding, and I streamed it live right from the shore of Lake Tahoe. Now, it, the, the results were incredible. It was beautiful. Uh, things do go wrong, and in this particular case, we are getting all set up, ready to go, beautiful setting, outdoors, and it just started snowing in May. And the snow was coming down, and we were jostling around, but... We started the ceremony, everything cleared up. The stream was beautiful. Edgar was watching. And uh, later on that day, we started getting text messages from relatives in Boston with frame grabs from our streamcast. It was just an incredible experience. And this is what was done with just the GYHM200 and a Verizon uh, streaming adapter, an LTE modem. Well, now the GYHM250 is an upgrade to the popular 200. This new camera features a single 4K image sensor and it'll now record Ultra HD at full resolution with 422 color sampling. Other upgrades include a new mode that automatically configures and sets up your camera when you connect to a network. We call that zero config and a new telemacro mode that lets you take in really close in shots. And we've added lower third graphics and full screen graphics. And what that means is with a camera, okay, so the full screen graphics and the lower third graphics, you create these using a tablet or an iPhone, any browser type device. And you can do that on the fly as you're shooting, or you can load up full screen graphics in the camera with an SD card and take it out with you and call those graphics up. Uh, which your choice you can create the graphics in Photoshop however you wish to do it But the main thing is that now you've got the ability to add graphics as you're shooting and uh, Had we had that in Lake Tahoe instead of all that jostling around at the beginning of the ceremony I could have had a nice video that said uh, Bethany and Andrews wedding Lake Tahoe, Nevada and then just switch to the live video while I was doing the live streaming Would have been great and now we can do that with the GYHM 250 the GYHM250 SP is the sports production version of the HM250. It has lower third graphics, but scores for teams. And we have different templates for all of the major sports, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, and on and on. As you're shooting and streaming, you keep the scores up to date with a tablet, or you can do it automatically with the optional ScoreBot interface. Now, ScoreBot connects to your stadium scoreboard and it sends the updates to the camera. So as you're shooting, all you have to do is concentrate on the action and the scores from the scoreboard in the stadium all show in the lower third or however you position them in your live stream and your recording. This is a 
really cool camera, real cool feature. And uh, we have this in our booth, by the way. Um, we're showing it, just look for the scoreboard. I think we're the only exhibitor at NAB that actually has a stadium scoreboard in our booth. Um, the GYHM 180, that camera on your right, is the upgrade to our popular 170, which is really an entry level. And it's basically the same camera as the 250, but minus the IP connectivity and without the titling and live streaming. Just a point and shoot, great camera, 4K. It does a great job. And the main new feature on the 180 is the addition of an HD SDI output. Another new product you'll see in the JVC booth is a new four channel special effects production system called the Pro HD Studio. It's a live production and streaming studio in a compact rack. It accepts HDSDI, HDMI, or IP cameras as sources. It does recording, switching, effects, graphics, audio mixing, encoding, and streaming, everything that a small studio requires to deliver high quality programs to their audience. Most importantly, the studio automatically configures any of our IP cameras, a feature, as I mentioned, we call it zero config. You just plug in one of our cameras, such as a PTZ, and the studio will configure it for you, and you'll be up and running with full PTZ control. We have two versions of the Pro HD Studio, the 4000 and the 4000S, and the S version is especially designed for sports and has slow motion and instant replays. Connectivity is at the core of the end-to-end -end IP based production solutions offered by JVC. We have an entire section of our booth dedicated to our connected solutions. We have three bridge models. These are super-powered hotspots that use cellular bonding to connect to your TV or cable station. The three models include a mobile bridge which goes on top of your vehicle, a new dockable bridge, or I'm sorry, a portable bridge that you can hand carry, and then the new dockable bridge that we introduced at NAB New York, which mounts to any of our shoulder cameras, including the new GYHC 900. And to complement this lineup, we're introducing a new BRDE 900 decoder at this show. This is the piece that you leave back at the station that receives your IP signals and co converts them to standard uh, SDI. So what ties this all together? It's a product called the Command Center. It's a GPS-based control center that lets a broadcaster see the location of all their IP assets. When a camera goes live, the video moving appears on a large map as an icon, and the Command Center's built-in routing will let you drag the video to master control and or the station's Facebook page, website, or even to a sister station in your group. You can monitor the streaming and stream quality from any of the cameras and actually control them right from the command center. This is in our booth and it's something you really ought to stop by and see. Well, yes, at JVC, we're back and it's all about connectivity. From the entry level GYHM250 to our PTZ cameras, to our 600 and 800 series, Pro HD Studio, our bridge products, decoder, command center, and of course our big news, the GYHC900 connected cam. It's all a connected ecosystem that continues to grow and propel JVC to the forefront of our industry. Now we've summarized this all on our thumb drive press kit. I hope you all got one when you came in. Uh, this is also available online as well, but on the thumb drive is not only our press kit in HTML, Word, and PDF formats, but all of our product brochures and even a video that Japan prepared is all on your press kit. We'll be around here, so if you have any questions you want to connect by just pulling the lens off and sticking that in your computer. How about that for connected, connected connectivity? We'll be around if you have any questions. Enjoy your lunch and have a great rest of NAB. Stay connected.